What is up, watch friends? Welcome to another episode of Talking Time Pieces with Tony. And today I am wearing my Nomos Club Campus 38, 38 and a half millimeter uh, manual wind, all in-house movement, all in-house parts, all in-house everything. Love Nomos, man. They're a great brand. Uh, so today I'm going to answer a question. This is a showdown, man. This is a JLC, JJ uh, Lecoutre. Uh, versus Longin, Moon Phase, the ultimate showdown. All right, uh, let's roll the uh, intro and we'll get started. You're watching Time Pieces with Tony. Talking Time Pieces with Tony. You're watching Talking Time Pieces with Tony. Yeah. All right. So this comes from a question, a Q and A from my viewer Paul Thompson. And uh, again, I don't print this out, so I'm not reading his question, but I'll put it up on the screen. You can pause it or whatever. But basically, the gist of the thing is, is that he really likes uh, Moon Phase watches, and he really likes the JLC Moon Phase. And basically, because the JLC Moon Phase is so expensive. Longines makes a great sort of alternative watch that looks very similar. And would that scratch the itch, so to speak? Um, so the question is basically, you know, would, would buying the Longines scratch the itch for the JLC? Simple question is no, no. Um, but it also depends on how bad you want the um, JLC. You know what I mean? So if if that's on your list as like say a grail watch and that's what you're striving for, then then keep striving for it and go for it. If in a sense you don't, you're not like so stoked that that's your grail watch and you want it. You just really like the aesthetics of it. You like the fact that it's got a moon phase and, and the watches look very similar. Yes. Um, would that suffice? And yes, it could, because that just means you're not just going, oh my God, I really want the JLC. I'll get this Longines until I get the JLC. It'll just off-put it. You can take that, that money and put it towards your JLC. But let's just get into the, uh, you know, the, the aesthetics of it and the sort of some of the technical details of it. All right. So this is the thing to keep in mind when you're going for the JLC. All right. First and foremost... It is a 39 millimeter stainless steel movement with uh, hours, minutes, seconds, date, and moon phase at the six o'clock position. Um, it's a beautiful watch. It is uh, part of their master uh, control, master, uh, the thin slim line. So the watch is very thin. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful watch. JJ Lecote, they are known for the, the watchmaker's watchmaker. If you've been watching watch videos or anything about hot horology then then you'll know that jlc's the watchmaker's watchmaker um as far as uh the movement in the watch they use the jlc caliber 925 which is basically an upgraded version of the 920 you know so you keep in mind we're getting into a whole different level of of movements when it comes between you're talking about the longine and the jlc uh the the um Again, the 925 is an upgraded version of the 920, and, and the 920 was used in um, the Vacheron Constantin, the 222, the 222, which they recently released, uh, re-released, um, and they still may use the Vacheron move, I mean, the JLC movement for that watch. I'm not too sure, I, uh, um, but they also use the JLC, Patek Philippe used the JLC movement in the... I want to say it's a 5711, but I, I have it. Uh, it's a 5402, um, which is beautiful watch. And then the uh, Audemars Piguet used the uh, 920 JLC movement as well. So, you know, you're getting into like some serious watchmaking when you're getting into JLC, you know. So it's, it's not just about aesthetically. They look the same but you're getting into a, a really serious timepiece. It's, it's, it's high, high horology, hot horology. Um, the price tag on the watch isn't cheap. You're right. It's $11,000. Um, but again, if, if that's what you're striving for, just keep striving for it. Um, for someone like me, it's, I've, I've got a real weird thing with JLC because I really love JLC and I do want a JLC and I owned a JLC 
for uh, the master control date for just a few days and I sent it back because I couldn't see the dial. Love the watch, but I also have to justify the fact, not just because I couldn't see the dial or see what time it was, um, how often would I wear it? How much wrist time would it get? I've got some decent watches in my collection, but does is it gonna get the wrist time? You know, it's a dress watch essentially. However, you don't have to be dressed up to wear it. You can dress them down. I don't really buy into that whole thing. Well, you have to wear a suit when you're wearing that watch or you have to wear, you know, I don't buy into that. But, um, but is that something that you would wear on a daily? You know what I mean? For the most part, you know? So is that, is that what it's worth to you? Look at the movement, man. The, the caliber movement is just beautiful as well. Beautifully decorated, hand finished, all hand done. All right. So that's what you, you're, you know, comparing is, is the, you know, oranges to apples still. All right. Uh, the Longines, uh, is the, uh, master collection which is great. That's their high end collection. The watch retails for just under $2,500. Um, same sort of, you know, the, the, um, sorry, the, the got distracted here for a minute. Um, you know, hour, minute, second hands, uh, date and moon phase at the six o'clock position. They look very, very similar. Don't they? Uh, you mentioned something about the blue dial. JLC does make it in the blue dial. Um, however, Longines does not. They make it in the black dial. They make it in the silver dial, and they make it in a, uh, I want to say a tan sort of, but not tan. Sometimes I get my words all twisted, but um, but like a tan dial, you know what I mean? I have another sip of beer. Mm. The movement uh, that you're going to get in that watch, um, I believe Longines is owned by the Swatch Group, so it will be a modified at a movement simple as that nothing wrong with that at movements are great they're workhorses when it comes to servicing you're going to have an easier time with or it's going to be less expensive for the ETA movement than it would be for the jlc for sure um and you know so you're getting a good movement you're going to get you know i think you know and i don't know this 100 percent, but i believe the launching things their master collection is uh it's a certified chronometer, Cosk certified. So that means it has to go between plus six minus something seconds a day. I can't really remember, but, um, so, but the Longines is a beautiful watch. In fact, I was thinking of getting one because I don't want to spend 11 grand on a JLC right now. And I don't know if I did have the $11,000 right now to spend on a watch. Um, or if I was going to just spend $11,000 on a watch, I don't know if I would just I wouldn't go with the slim one. All right. It depends also too. Just is like, how, do you really want a super thin watch? I mean, it's nice. Um, of course the Longines is going to be a little bit thicker. Um, but overall I think in, in depending on how you answer the question is what do you want the watch for? And is, is it like me where I, you know, it's like when I did that Mont Blanc video, if you, if you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. The one I did on Saturday, where it is like, the Mont Blanc for $19,000 salmon dial with a Minerva movement or the Mont Blanc with a salmon dial and the Salita movement that pays homage to the Minerva. Is that Minerva movement? Okay. So the, 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 the one I have was $2,400 and the $19,000 for the Minerva movement. Is it really worth $16,500 just for the movement? You know what I'm saying? Uh, however, in this case, we're, we're talking about two different brands. So if the Longines was, you know, if you would be happy because you like the aesthetics of it, and of course it's a, it's a beautiful watch and, it, and it's an amazing watch. I love Longines. I'm thinking about getting one myself. Um, then I would go for it. If you really want the JLC, then, then go for it. Make the right choice. I'm sure you will do whatever is best for you. But I appreciate your comment. And yeah, uh, I appreciate every, everyone's comments, man. Um, I'm going to do a, uh, an update on the a drink and a rant videos because I'm going to be changing some things up and I might put it on hiatus for a minute. But uh, having said that, uh, again, you guys take care.